What is up guys? Steve back at it with another video today. Um, I don't know if Yamaha is going to be dicks and let me vlog, but I'm going to do it anyways. Uh, today I'm on the 2019 Nikon. She wide, that's for sure. Let's go ahead and turn this thing on. Watch that awesome display go. We are neutral. I love that they come with LED headlights. So we have a mode button that... Or a menu button, I don't really think it was temperature, air temperature, odometer, that kind of stuff. Not super worried about that. Turn signals, we do have cruise control. Our light controls right here to your left. It's kind of cool that you get the uh, nice little auxiliary port here. Uh, man, those mirrors are super far forward. Um, Those things are pretty adjusted. Uh, you can't really adjust them all that much. That thing is so wide that you can see your handlebars. That's all good though. I believe these have a quick shifter on them. Throw that in first there. You have your gear indicator, your RPM gauge up top, uh, your fuel gauge. Uh, it's on traction control. I don't think you can adjust that. You, you might be able to, maybe not. It's, it's kind of hard to say. Man, that R3 even comes with LEDs on it. That's great. I was looking at the uh, the new R3, man. They, they, that's such an upgrade compared to last year's model. It almost is kind of like riding a, a different motorcycle. Boy, is this thing, this thing is odd. And it's supposed to rain today. I'm like, I didn't ride the motorcycle up because uh, it's quite a bit away from where I live. And Well, I don't want to get soaking wet, so it's so, it's so wide. It's a wide motorcycle. But it's pretty comfy though, I'll tell you that. Oh, it's a traction control button, okay, that makes sense. We'll just leave that there. You can get your traction control button here. You got a traction control light up top. Yeah, pretty simple. And I think the one with the GT has another switch here that uh, turns on the heated grips and with the traction control. I think that's about the only difference. Plus the, the taller windscreen and the, uh, the, the side luggage too, so. Man, the sound of that uh, that three-cylinder hum is is pretty cool. So we do have uh, we've got our quick shifter with the QS there, and we have uh, our gear indicator, which is cool. This thing is weird, man. My God, it's cool. God, we're gonna want an FC09 after this. So much want. But I still love my FZ07. I'm like, this, this three-cylinder is fucking awesome. I love Yamaha's three-cylinder motor. I'm like, you just get gobs of torque. Woo! So much power, man. It's it a little chilly out this morning. It's weird, because I can actually see uh, everything behind me. <laughs> These mirrors are actually pretty decent, Mike. And I think a lot of it is is because the, the, the mirrors are so uh, far pushed forward so you can actually see things too. Ooh, it's a bit nippy out. Man, they weren't kidding though, Mike. This thing is uh, this thing is actually like riding a, an actual motorcycle. I'm like, the geometry is a little weird. I'm like, it's very, it's very bulky up front. Uh, but I tell you, man, this thing is, uh, actually really really comfortable the uh, the windscreen doesn't do anything and it might be better on the touring version or you put an aftermarket windscreen but the stock windscreen doesn't do jack like I said it's just got a it's just got a kind of a nice uh, a nice feel to it like I said I'm not I'm not hunched over you get a nice uh, probably a nice straight up sitting position like a touring like this would be a, a fantastic touring motorcycle on it uh, go ahead throw the throw the traction control on it's like any other traction control you set it um you know you can essentially just uh hit the button and go a little bit faster here so like i said go ahead and off and when you're looking at it up front i'm like the uh the, the front two wheels are actually super wide apart mike um and i think that helps with the stability of the motorcycle as well oh man it is windy out today but it's, it's a little cold 
Thank God I didn't ride my own motorcycle up here. I'm going to be freezing my balls off. Turn the traction control off. Yeah, might as well just put all, all the LEDs on just because it looks awesome. Yeah, I don't think they I don't think they care about uh, cameras this year, which is awesome. It's more content coming to the channel. It's very comfortable. Uh, I'm I'm five nine. I don't know what my inseam is, but I'm I'm tiptoeing to to keep this thing on the ground here. Uh, and it's not it's not bad by any means. Uh, so there's definitely somebody my size you can do it, but man, this thing's comfortable. What am I doing? Quick shifter, son. Quick shifter. Whew. 59 degrees out today, like it's June. Forecast is uh, say that it's supposed to snow in the uh, mountains. They should get like above 10,000 feet. They could get up to like six inches of snow that they were saying. I'm like, it's June. We got a nice cold front coming through and it's supposed to be like in the 90s next week. And that's like, ugh, no thanks. Man, this is, like I said, I'm curious to see how this thing goes around these corners here. Super easy around corners, man. There's uh, there's no lack of confidence in that. The, the, the geometry, I think, with the two tires in the front allows uh, more contact with the pavement, which you uh, you get more confidence. And like, this is, I think would be fun to rent and uh, go rip around in the mountains. Uh, it's just such a nice, comfy motorcycle or a trike, whatever you want to call it. Three-wheeled hooligan monster machine. Uh, like I said, six gears, all sequential with a quick shifter. This thing redlines at 11,000 RPMs. I don't know if I'd ever take it that high. Um, like I said, it's the, the sea height's 32.9 inches. It's, uh, it weighs 580 pounds, 847 cc's. It shares the same motor with the, uh, the Yamaha MT-07, the XSR 900, and the Tracer 900. Got a 4.8 gallon capacity in this thing i assume that the range is probably uh 200 miles to a tank that's the nice color it's granite gray i do like the color of this thing uh, it looks like a liquid graphite of what my motorcycle is and it retails for sixteen thousand dollars um so that's it's a little bit on the expensive side but i think you get a lot for 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 the money i'm like again you get a nice comfy uh touring motorcycle that you know has gobs of power in it and it just kind of looks cool I'm like you're, you're probably never going to find one of the, something else like this on the road so yamaha you guys did a good job on it like the display is super easy to, to read i kind of like their their uh, their big displays that they have yeah the, the last route always went over there look at that corner look at that corner super easy Quick shifter's life. I tell ya. Like, it just the flawlessly goes over bumps super easy. Um, again, like I said, the, the, the two wheels in the front's like, it's super unique, but you don't see these things everything. If it was something that I was in the market for, I probably would compensate. I would, uh, I'd spend the extra money and get the, uh, the GT version. Uh, cause you do get, uh, factory heated grips with it. Uh, and the, the bigger touring screen and the, uh, the, uh, saddlebags, uh, the touring luggage. Um, so that would, pro to me, I think that would be worth the extra money. Um, cause anytime you can integrate, uh, uh, have like heat of grips incorporated from the factory, I'm like, it just makes for a clean, seamless look. I'm not just saying that the uh, heat of grips on my motorcycle are horrible. I'm like, I think those are the best ones that are on the market. So yeah, if you haven't seen that video, I'll do a shameless plug in the upper right hand corner so you guys can see that. Man, it's super comfortable over railroad tracks. Man, that thing pulls like a freight train. My Yamaha's three-cylinder engine is so amazing. Like I said, it's just smooth and it's got the torque of the right RPM. I just wish Yamaha would come out with uh, self-canceling turn signals. My life needs that. Woo, it's windy. Oh, the audio quality is a complete garbage. I should have uh, brought the wind or the chin curtain in this thing. Like I said, I could do 75 and it just, it's so effortless in this, in this riding position. I'm like, 
You wouldn't even think this thing has three wheels on it. It's just like a just a, like a cruise missile when it comes to uh, like just going. I like it. I like it a lot. We're gonna put this thing in mode one, which is like the the fuck you mode. I think, right? I remember uh, the earlier versions of all the Yamahas. It was like A, B, and standard. Like it makes more sense to have like one, two, and three. I think one is like their their uh, like fuck you mode. Two is like their street road, and three is like a raid mode. So, gonna leave the traction control alone. Gonna want to dick with that. The traction control's good. Uh, these do come uh, stand fitted with ABS on them. I think most newer motorcycles, I think, have ABS, which I think is a good thing. Man, that quick shifter though. Oh, I love quick shifters. Like, who is this for? Uh, I think this could be for anybody. I'm like looking for a, a really good motorcycle just to, uh, you know, go, go touring with. I'm like, I think you could easily do, uh, you know, a couple hundred miles a day on this thing and not feel any type of fatigue. It's just like the, the nice upright uh, sitting position on it just makes it uh, super easy to ride. Going into a headwind! Woo! It just uh, it just soaks up buns super effortlessly. Go ahead and throw that on and set the cruise control to like 65. What's up, dude? You know, tap on the brake and uh, get it out of cruise control there. It's so windy! But goddamn, this thing looks cool. Like I give Yamaha a ton of props for making something like totally just out of the box. I'm like they did a super good job at uh, making it something that looks cool. And uh, like this thing looks like an alien man. It's weird because you have so much motorcycle between where you sit and other than front. Like uh, there's a lot of motorcycle in front of that. Like and I think with a touring windscreen and uh, some factory heated grips, I'm like you could have a really nice uh, touring motorcycle. And, and I think they they set out to do a really good job at that. Uh, so good job Yamaha on that. Like, you guys, you guys knocked it out of the park. I'm curious to see uh, what a next generation of one of these is going to look like. I would really like to see it in, in that factory color scheme, that ice floor with the orange wheels. That thing would look fucking boss on this thing. Man, this thing is so much fun to ride. Ugh. Bite my tears away because I'm a crying little bitch. Nope. I got uh, allergy season, man. Allergies are kicking my ass this year. Man, this thing is so much fun. Sorry about the wind noise. Hopefully it's not super shitty. I think this thing would, would probably stay better without an aftermarket exhaust on it. Uh, like I said, for something that, for a touring motorcycle, I think uh, just the factory exhaust, I think, is, is perfectly fine for it. Uh, also on the GT version, uh, you do get the center stand. Uh, I believe that is also included. But to have a factory quick shifter in this thing is cool. Um, I like the uh, the accessory port up top, uh, you know, so you can always like just kind of charge your phone and get one of those wall lock mounting systems. Hands down the uh, best mounting system for a phone ever. Saw oh, dude. That's right. Like I said, you, you you probably get more attention on one of these than you would any other motorcycle that I've ridden. Like again, because it's different. And Yamaha did a great job, like, thinking outside the box when it comes to this thing. Like, at first I was kind of apprehensive, like, eh, it's, it's ugly, but like, it's, it's a special type. You gotta have a, a special buyer in mind for something like this. Um, again, when Yamaha sold out of them, it, you know, they, they, I think they proved the world, like, fuck you, we can make something different and, and, and make it awesome and make it badass and, and we're gonna sell them. That's exactly what they did. Is a touring motorcycle, if you want something that, that grabs people's attention, uh, this this would be it. I wish they kind of finished this off. This looks cheap. Uh, they, it looks like they just kind of half-assed this area. I'm like, what do you want? I'm like, it's, it's not perfect. It's not a Ducati. It's not a BMW. So the fit and finish isn't going to be superb with uh, with all of the uh, more premium bikes. But, you know, you don't see, see any of the other bikes uh, making uh you know, different motorcycles like this. The the mirrors are adjusted out as far as they can go. I'm like, you can see your, your hands moving stuff. It's great. Super easy to find neutral in it. 
Man, this is fun. Oh, quick shifter. Oh, I want a motorcycle with a quick shifter. Goals. Man, which bike am I gonna ride next? I wanna I really wanna ride the uh the Tracer GT. That that's been something that I haven't rode yet. But the Nikon though! Man, this thing is cool. Here comes the rain. Like this thing I think would be more than acceptable in the rain. But man, they're right. This thing this thing rides just like a regular motorcycle does. Well guys, there you have it. The uh 20 what's a 2019 uh Nikon. Uh, on another first ride. Again, guys, if you like these types of videos, uh, go ahead and smash that subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up. It does help the channel out. It builds my self-esteem. You have no idea. I need public uh, opinion to make myself feel better. Just kidding. I kid, I kid. It's fine. Man, what a cool bike. This thing is rad. I like this thing a lot. This thing is so. This thing is fun. I'm like this, what a cool bike! This thing is so much fun. Oh, there you guys go. Got the 2019 Nike. Uh, as always, guys, I will see you in the next one. Bye.